up everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you're having an amazing day now today we are doing another little like crochet process vlog type video and we're actually making something for someone else if you've been following me for a while you probably know that i like rarely do commissions a lot of reasons for that it doesn't actually make that much money i don't want to capitalize on my art etc etc i could do like 20 minute rant on that in and of itself but what I will do is crochet things for friends, especially if they have an idea that I think would be fun to make anyway. And today we are making something for my good friend, Mr. George Welly. You might recognize him from TikTok. Um, I think he's best known for his Henry Golding impersonation. I'm getting ripped tonight, RIP that. I met a girl. But we became mutuals a few years back now, God. Uh, and I've been friends ever since. And he wanted to commission something for Coachella, which is coming up. Now he's like obsessed with the brand Bode. I don't know if you're familiar with them. And he had his eye on the little kind of like crochet collared shirt situation. And the funny thing is I was actually supposed to test a pattern for basically this exact shirt like a year ago. And I ended up having to back out because I was going through like a somewhat major life crisis, lol. Uh, and I told the creator, amazing woman named Caroline who lives in Denmark, I think. I was like, I am going to make this eventually. And here I am a full year later. Uh, it's funny because this is actually my first time like following a pattern. I've written patterns, but I've never used one because I guess like normally I just look at it and figure out how to do it myself. So I am so excited to just like go on autopilot, head empty, and have all the hard work already done for me. The pattern I'm using is like I had to purchase it. It wasn't the original one I was supposed to test. This is like a longer version um, and it uses two colors. So the ones we picked or this white and blue. We were debating a green maybe, but I think this is gonna be really cute. I think George also just bought a beanie in like these exact colors. Um, and this is just the Friends Cotton 8-4 from Hobby in the colors three and 93. I obviously have like a bunch more. He's actually visiting me this week and crashing on my couch. So I'm just gonna take his measurements when he gets here tomorrow. And he can also be in the video, which is exciting. I think you need to hold it. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh god. Say hi. Hello. Okay, maybe we should wait until... <laughs> Any day now. Any day now. Okay. Look who it is! I am here. We're on our way to Winston Bakery. I've got work in 30 minutes. My coworkers have no idea I'm in college. This is not actually anymore. a weekly vlog. This is just a crochet vlog. Oh love. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if you're um if our activities are going to be included. Oh, lovely. Also, this shot is just like your chin. There you go. I can't see anything. Because so <laughs> I feel like your chest is narrower than your shoulders. Yes. Obviously. Yeah. So like how so the, There wide... are people who have... Do, is, it, is it such a thing to have smaller shoulders and then bigger chests? Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not me, but some women. Yeah. <laughs> not all women. Is this good? Yeah, it seems good. Okay, Because I feel like that would be flowy enough, right? Yeah. I'm on tonight and it's the last of Let's look at buttons. Loosen up my buttons. Relax, Ogden. Relaxagon? Relaxagon. Relaxagon. <laughs> not pearl, but like. Multi pearl, like the yes. Stop trying to zoom in. It's <laughs> giving boomer. You remember when um you couldn't zoom in on Instagram photos, and every time I showed my mom, do you remember this? Yes, you couldn't yes. zoom in. I showed my mom on Instagram and she would try to zoom. Yeah. So I was saying that's why it'd be helpful to get like your shirt measurements because if we want it to be boxy, are we? Where you? What? I'll know when my love comes around. I wish I had like. Camp shirt. This is not the measurements the pattern asked for, but I'm just gonna write them down so I have them. Well, I'm already a queen hat. Oh yes, I go never for it. Mine on Amazon. You didn't? No, sadly. Okay, happy Wednesday. George is now back in California, sadly. He's only here for the weekend, and I'm back to work, also sadly but I wanted to show you what I have so far. This is my first time working with cotton or working with like a really small hook. This is a 2.75 millimeter. 
I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be using a three millimeter, but I just like could not find it in my giant jar of crochet hooks. So I feel like it's fine. Um, but I think it's so sick how you're basically creating more like a fabric, like a textile. And this is just a rectangle with a hexagon on the end, hence why it's called the relaxagon shirt. I think if you keep building this out, it makes like the side of the shirt with the sleeve. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on this. I'm gonna go meet up with Kara, one of my little crochet girly friends who literally lives next door to me um, and keep cranking this out. I think I'm gonna add the blue at some point too. I need to check the pattern. <laughs> in case you can't tell and that is because my water bottle may or may not have leaked in my bag and gone on my camera and it's been sitting in rice for two days and hasn't turned on so i think she's a goner but emotionally i'm still mourning like i haven't purchased a new camera because i'm still in denial but that is besides the point um i kept building out our like hexagon thing i mean obviously i stopped at some point on this edge but i love how the blue looks so far kind of matches my nails and then if you fold this in half you get your sleeve. So I just need a slip stitch along the top to connect. I might add a few more rows down this edge. And then I need to go ahead and make another one of these, obviously. Oh, I also need to show you our failed buttons. Okay, so basically George wanted pearl cluster buttons, which is a very cute idea, but all the ones we saw online were too big. And I was like, let's just order them. Maybe it'll be fine. Look how fucking big this is. Also, everything that had pearls in it also had rhinestones in it. And I was like, I don't want rhinestones. Also, there isn't anything on the back. It's not even a fucking button. I don't know how I would have attached these. Well, needless to say, I'm going to return these. Um, I think I'm just going to order some like more normal buttons in the right size. And hopefully once they come in person, there's something that we like. All right, y'all, checking back in because we have some more button deliveries. First, we have these pearl ones. They're too big. Not as big as the last ones, but still too big. And again, with the fucking rhinestones, I just think they look very cheap and gaudy. So I'm not into these. And then I took a kind of different route and I got these like silver etched ones. They're not the vibe that George and I were originally going for, but like, I don't hate them. And I do feel like they have that, I don't know, like Coachella Western look to them. Um, I'm also making progress on the second sleeve panel. I'm meeting up with my friend Marissa tonight and we're just like going to a coffee shop that's open late and working. Cause I need to make progress on this and edit videos. So that's another crazy Friday night in the Big Apple with a girl in her twenties. Um, but yeah, cause I just realized that April's right around the corner, which means that I need to get this done in a package and ship to California ASAP. Yeah, yeah. Marshall. So what you know about teamwork? Cause I've been in the clouds trying to make the dream work. Always done it on my own, that's why it seemed hurt. Cause I ain't met no one that ever put me first. So what okay, still no new camera, although I think it's on the way. But we do have two sleeves. I don't know guys, I'm stressed about the fit just because like I do have George's measurements, but I'm very used to like making things by trying them on and seeing how they drape. And my roommate is a 6'3 man. So I was like, oh, maybe I can use him as a fit model. But he's built very differently from George. Like I think my build might be more similar. So we're just gonna have to hope for the best, but all I have to do is build out the front and back panels, which as you can see, I've kind of started doing. And then the collar. So we're almost done which is good because I just realized that Coachella is next weekend. It's currently Thursday and I need to get this shipped out, I guess by Monday. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's the next day. And as you can see, I really got cranking last night. Uh, I had a little bit of a meltdown around the shirt being too wide and then I texted George about it and well he sent me a progress pic of his back and he was like look I'm wide and I was like okay but now that it's on I feel like it's a little too wide for me so it should be perfect for him. All I have to do now is add the buttons. George signed off on the silver button so we're finally settled on that front and do the edge. Some people who use this pattern did the edge in like a contrasting color. So like in blue in this case, 
but I feel like that could look kind of tacky so I'm probably just gonna do the edge in white but yeah I'm excited it looks so good okay happy Easter Sunday as you can see the shirt is all done um I actually love how it turned out I think the silver buttons are a nice touch too because they're like subtle and they'll pair well with George's silver jewelry um I also love how the shirt looks just like unbuttoned over a little crop top that's probably how I would style it if I were keeping it for myself and all I have to do now is express ship this out tomorrow morning and I'm going to force George to FaceTime me when he opens it and tries it on so that we can both see how it ends up fitting. Fingers crossed. bounce back about two to three times. Dealing with your ass, got me walking over time. Got me some slack, I've been losing my mind. No, I'm not fine, you've been killing my fight. Got me down bad. That whole post office sequence but it's the next day and guess what has not been shipped out um basically i did not realize it's going to cost 83 dollars to get this to california by thursday and i was obviously not going to pay that but thankfully i realized that my friend marissa is flying out to la for coachella tomorrow morning and i actually she has like a brand dinner tonight for this launch with ghd the like hair tools company so i'm gonna hand this off to her and she's gonna be an absolute godsend <laughs> and basically messenger pigeon it to LA where George can pick it up from her. So this whole trying it on over FaceTime thing, I don't know if this is really gonna happen. At this point, I just want him to get his hands on this piece of clothing. In case you're curious what I'm wearing, this is like a modern take on the traditional Chinese chi pal. I got it secondhand at Buffalo Exchange in Chicago and it fits me so well, I love it. Um, so yeah, let's go head out to dinner. a week later but we finally have a camera just in time for me to film this outro now george did not get his hands on the shirt until friday the literal first day of coachella so obviously this whole facetiming business did not happen but he did send me a video when he tried it on and oh my god it looks so much better on him i mean you would hope so i made it for him and he's built like a model i'll also insert some photos of how he styled it for the actual festival with the matching blue bag like it's such a fucking sleigh and I'm just so happy that after all this, our joint vision did actually come to life. Um, I would highly, highly recommend this pattern. It's only like seven bucks and it comes with a full length video tutorial. I didn't use it, but if you're worried this project is a little bit more advanced than what you're used to, I think that will help a lot. And I'm probably gonna make some more of these, honestly, because there's so much optionality between like the colorway, the length, the fit. I'm sorry if this video was a little all over the place, I feel like between the broken camera and the very tight timeline it became a bit of a clusterfuck but hopefully you still enjoyed i know a lot of you have said that you actually enjoy seeing the like more behind the scenes kind of stuff um as always feel free to follow my other socials at amazing grace leave a comment down below helps me a ton and let me know if there are any other videos you want to see and with that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs> Really good. Really good. Cinematography. Give us a little twirl. Oh.